Amen, ton sister, Quinte, a better, ton boy, for you, better. Do you remember telling mum on the last day of school and you said, all done now with school, now I'm moving out of home? Yeah. Did you put all your school books under my bed? Yeah, I didn't need them all. You didn't need them anymore? Yeah. I reckon, do you remember that I think Millie moved out with Annabelle? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Annabelle yeah. and yeah, Bridie. And Gabby, yeah. yeah. And I reckon yeah. you said you wanted to move out of home like Millie. Yeah. And we started saying you really need to have a job first to have enough money to live out of home. And then we really talked about what he would need to be able to do to um, mm. live out of home. So. We started doing things like you needed to learn how to take the bus and you oh. needed to learn how to kind of cook your own breakfast yeah. and look after money and look after his things, mm. which he was already pretty good at in some ways, but he was used to us being able to be there and help him. I guess we worked on his problem solving skills. At home, your brother was messy. Oh, I knew that. So you like to have a really neat house I know I liked it, man. You were doing all the laundry at home. You were so oh. helpful. And so I wasn't really impatient for you to move out of home. And I loved um, having you living with us when you were an adult. But I knew that it was something he really wanted to do and that would be really good for him into the future and that he would probably grow more um, having that independent life. Hello. Yay! Hello. How are you? Good. Our little group of friends from primary school, um, Sean was the first one to move out. We're here! Three years? Yeah! Yeah! We all lived at home with our parents, all in the neighbourhood that we all grew up in. Um, our parents didn't move, so we didn't move. Um, and Sean was the first one, he always said he was going to move out. Once he tells you he's set on something, there's no changing his mind, there's no telling him he can't do something, he will prove you wrong and he will make sure of it. We spent a lot of time thinking about what sort of place would be kind of right for Sean. So we knew you'd want to live with other people. I think you're very social and I knew that we weren't looking at just living on your own. Your old boss, Michelle, was working in real estate and she um, helped us do up a little ad for a flatmate yeah. and put it on realestate.com and yeah, so then we kind of met quite a few people and then we decided that Ali was the, the best person to move in. To live with Sean, it's absolutely brilliant. I feel he's just like my uh, younger brother. I have a younger brother back at home, but of course, living away from home, so it's like kind of a family here. <laughs> oh, one. So Ali lives here now. Okay, like, yeah, you know, I would annoy me. You call me old man. Ha! What the? <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. We also knew that um, because you don't have a car, do you? So it was really helpful to be thinking about a place that had really good public transport. Maybe where you'd be able to walk to the shops. Yeah, I think I got to go. Usually, do you catch the train from Fairfield? Yeah, but uh, barely. Pretty clean. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Good hi, man! I'm very lucky that we have built this relationship in such a short span of time. And it has been, like, uh, like I mentioned, brilliant. So maybe continuing what we do and look after each other as long as we're living here together. And maybe after that as well, yeah. I guess looking forward, what I would hope is that he continues to just actually develop relationships with people who we have never even met. You know, so they're people who are just in Sean's life. 